my name is John Pietro Balia. Uh, I'm one of the programmers of the Black Knights Film Festival, and um, I'm about to open the press conference for uh, the Greek film Lions, uh, which is a world premiere that uh, we are honored to have in the main competition at the 20th edition of our festival. And uh, as you can see right next to me, uh, there are the director, writer, and producer of the film, um, Vasileios Mazomenos, and uh, the producer of the film, Lampros Gergopoulos. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you, obviously, uh, thank you. for being here and for trusting us with the world premiere of your film. It's a wonderful film and uh, something that, um, when we watched it, we understood that it was absolutely necessary to have, uh, not just from a, a filmic point of view, but also from uh, what, what's happening right now in the world, not just in Greece, because I do believe that this is more of a universal film that we can extend also in the whole uh, situation that is going on in the world. So on that note, uh, I would like to thank you, first of all, for making the film. And uh, before I start taking questions from the floor, I would like to ask you if you can kind of give a small introduction on what moved you um, and what brought you to the point where you decided that it was time for such a film to be made and to be out there. And uh, so both your personal reasons and uh, what happened around you to push you in that direction. Yes, thank you first of all to be invited in Tallinn. Uh, the inspiration of the film comes from the uh, huge um, numbers of uh, suicides taking place in Greek society over the s last seven years of the crisis. Mm -hmm. We are talking about more than uh, 4,000 suicides. Mm -hmm. That was uh, too much uh, for an artist uh, to handle so I had to, to tell you that um, for me to talk about uh, things that they are very important in uh, the country you are living in, and generally speaking in the world, uh, it's something that an artist should do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not thinking uh, as a man making uh, just a career in films. I'm very very close to what we call the uh, human tragedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't like to put human tragedy in second place mm -hmm. in my life. Uh, so uh, at the time that uh, I start thinking that people are falling from the balconies, having no, um, nothing else uh, in front of them, first of all, hope which is the most important thing. Uh, we are talking about young people, but not only young people. We are talking about um, individuals that uh, uh, until a few years ago, well, uh, they were well-respected people living their normal life, and suddenly they are losing their houses. They are losing everything they have. And most of all, uh, they're losing their hope. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say that uh, the basic idea was to talk about the psychological uh, situation of the crisis. Uh, we are talking about the souls of these people. I'm not referring just to the financial mm -hmm. crisis. Of course, it's one of the, the main reasons that this film was made and of the main reasons that these people are falling apart. But the main thing uh, is uh, what is going on inside them. So that's for the, um, let's say, for the um, start point of the film. Mm -hmm. the, what, I, what, what I see whenever I watch the film is not only a difficult film to make in terms um, of personal approach as a director, but I do believe also from a more uh, technical and practical point of view, uh, both in terms of um, mise-en-scene, because there are some very beautiful long shots and 
um, steady cam shots and um, an amazing uh, work from the perspective of the set design and uh, so that's one artistic side, but then also the actual practical productive side uh, of dealing with such a delicate topic, uh, especially nowadays and finding the funds, finding the distribution of the film to actually put it out there. So if you could also um, maybe talk briefly about the production side of the film and uh, how do you envision the film to, to, to make both internationally and back at home in Greece. Okay. Um, I'll leave the second part of the question to Vasilis okay. because he has to have the vision. And mm -hmm. It's normal because the film will have a, for sure a good uh, uh, festivalic uh, journey to last, uh, at least. So, um, speaking for the production and the, um, the way to organize this kind of production, I wouldn't like to say that it's very hard. Uh, right now we have the movie, we're very proud of this uh, film, we enjoyed it. Uh, actually, it's almost everywhere difficult to fund and find capitals to uh, produce a film. Um, we knew that. Uh, Vasilis, a very experienced director, has made many films and know these difficulties. Yeah. But we insisted for three years to get fundings, organize the film and shoot it. And um, I guess this was the main uh, weapon we had, our uh, consistent uh, pressure to get the money, mm -hmm. and not just to beg for money, to con convince everybody else that we have to get funded for such a subject. Which you deserved. Uh, yes, because uh, I'm, I'm proud to say, I'm very proud to say that I, I believe this is the first Greek film talking about Greek mm -hmm. crisis and consequently European crisis mm -hmm. directly mm -hmm. and not just giving hints about crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole subject is crisis, yeah. political, social, economical, of course, yeah. but um, he had a point, and that was very difficult to convince somebody to give him money mm -hmm. to make such a film, which is uh, something like giving a punch to the knife, as we say in Greek, mm -hmm. uh, in a Greek saying. Well, um, speaking for the way of uh, shooting the long shots, uh, were difficult because there are two major problems, reasons why it is difficult. You can't have a cut when you shoot with a long shot. So, it could be, speaking from my uh, part, my point of view, it would be much more um, expensive to shoot and reshoot and reset uh, the set and have everybody uh, with the same passion to make another shot and another shot and another shot. Because in long shots, uh, shots took uh, 10 to 13 to 15 minutes. Uh, it was yeah. exhausting for the steady cam operator, for the actors, and they couldn't have the same passion all the time. So I was frightened every time uh, Vasily said, uh, let's shoot it, uh, and said, cut. I was running to him and say, do we have it? Is are it we, good? Are it we good? great? <laughs> 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 because uh, I was very happy when it was great. We had, we had uh, the whole story, actually. Yep. And that was my main concern. And yep. um, so I, I, at the end of the day, I'm very happy we have yeah. the film. It was easier than I believed. We have very good uh, partners uh, on our journey. Yeah. So funding, um, spending the money was easier for me since we had very good partners in uh, the whole procedure, producing post-production and all this stuff. As concerns the, the journey of the film, I'll leave Vasilis to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the, the long shots are not a matter of uh, a, f a film form. Uh, actually, Every time I, I choose uh, a style that will serve the, the theme itself, I'm not uh, thinking as a formalist mm -hmm. that I will make long shots and then I will put the long shots on the subject. I'm making the opposite. I have the subject and then I choose the way I will express that to the audience. And uh, the way that the subject will free itself so uh, all the elements will be clear. Otherwise, 
it's very difficult. Uh, sometimes it became like um, like beton, like uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's 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 not a very um, uh, elastic material. Right. Uh, so in in the hands of a director, the film style uh, has mm -hmm. to come. Uh, as, um, as a friendship uh, uh, with the subject, not separate, not put uh, um, the, the, the form, uh, the film form on the subject by violence, you know what I mean. So when we choose, when I choose the, um, uh, the long shots, uh, I thought that um, uh, all the film drama uh, will be uh, very, um, useful for the actors and for the artists of the film uh, to be uh, to, to have the expression that uh, they needed. Uh, let's say the place um, to express themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you use, you know, cat in film language, cat has a uh, is, is a little bit violent. Um, what we call cat is you you separate. Uh, time and place. Uh, even if you are a great director, you do that. Uh, that's why I respect very much in the film history uh, directors that they use the technique of long shots uh, because uh, with this method you can feel that uh, all all the scene, all the all, all the all the subject uh, will free, will be free, mm -hmm. and not stuck uh, with. Uh, uh, with, uh, uh, let's say, like the Americans are using a lot of cuts uh, in order to, um, uh, with the sound design, in order uh, to make uh, uh, the product, as they say, uh, more sellable. <laughs> to generate a rhythm yes. that helps you to consume it at a faster pace. Exactly. Yeah, which exactly. is more television friendly television, and yes. more... And if you, close, if you close the sound, the sound in this kind of films, mm -hmm. uh, you will see uh, the poverty yeah. of the films. But if you close the sound, for example, uh, to, to Akira Kurosawa or uh, uh, to Bella Tarr, or you, you can uh, feel the image. It's like you hear mm -hmm. the film, you smell the film, mm -hmm. but... Uh, uh, I, I'm not doing a fair comparison now, but look at an action movie uh, with, without the sound the and, entity and a masterpiece without the sound. Sure, uh, it's a completely different uh, type of um, rhythm and participation also that you get. Every cut is like a slap on the face that mm -hmm. kind of puts, brings exactly. it back a little exactly. bit. Um, and for, for what concerns your home country, what do you think? <coughs> First of all, um, I don't look at your film as criticism um, towards the uh, towards your country or towards your the, 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 the Greek situation at the moment. I I see mostly pain from your side. I don't see just pointing fingers. I see um, sadness. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, a look into uh, several um, sectors, uh, several uh, facets of the Greek society, all linked by either common uh, characters or common situations in order to, uh, and that's where the lines come from, everything's connected. And, but every individual uh, chapter of the story is a very emotional, in a way, look and um, at what's happening in Greece, but we can extend it to Italy, Spain, uh, Germany very soon, like many other countries in Europe, uh, and not only Europe, unfortunately. Um, s but how do you think it will be perceived and it will be received back in Greece uh, from the people and from the movie goers, from the institutions, from the people who will hopefully get the chance to watch the film and uh, either appreciate what you've done and understand the meaning of the film or just look at it as a, you're just criticizing, you're just trying to throw Greek into madness where we are all basically doomed, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, 
I cannot really answer to this question mm -hmm. um, before uh, I can uh, see the reactions in front of me. Mm -hmm. But I can assume uh, that uh, there are different things on the table. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no one audience. I believe there are more than one audiences. Uh, for example, it's um, a different audience, uh, um, the one that uh, loves uh, superheroes, uh, is a different uh, audience for Andrei Tarkovsky, mm -hmm. and a uh, different audience, for example, for uh, Kurosawa or Bergman. Um, in my opinion, what I did has nothing to do uh, with, um, let's say, uh, the feeling to, to make specula uh, on the suicide issue. No. Uh, I felt that I, I should make this film for Greek people uh, to make them more strong, uh, understand the position, clear in their minds what is going on, and see the day after, because as we all know that uh, we saw the film, the film ends with, uh, we are not going to say in public, but the film ends with a warning. No. If the political system, if the social, uh, let's say, stability no. uh, will collapse, then next step are the wolves, no. the animals. The animals will occupy our cities. And you are very right in what you said before about this is not a Greek film. This is a film, of course, was made uh, in Greece uh, by Greek um, people, inspired by the Greek uh, modern tragedy, but is a film that is flirts with, uh, that flirts with the um, global situation that is going on on the planet today. Actually, what is going on in the west part of uh, uh, our civilization, uh, the time that we see that uh, new governments are taking power mm -hmm. from the United States um, and other countries in Europe, uh, governments that they are trying to turn the clock back to 19th century, and this is a very dangerous thing for me. Racism is coming back, neo-Nazis are coming back, Xenophobia, uh, xenophobia uh, is coming back. Homophobia yeah. is uh, a, a very, a very, uh, let's say, dangerous thing. Yeah. And uh, I don't want my daughter to live in a world like this. Uh, I believe, as as an artist, as a filmmaker, uh, I I have um, a very little power. To, to say to the people that uh, we have to, to get out of our, of our houses and start uh, searching what is going wrong, yeah. why, why fascists today are taking back our cities. Uh, I'm telling that uh, the, political, um, the political system, as we knew it with the bureaucracy, European bureaucracy, failed. So these guys are coming um, uh, like um, <laughs> they're coming to take to take back as a revenge uh, what they lost in the Second World War. Mm. This is a very dangerous thing. So, uh, so for me, this is not just a Greek situation. Yeah. This is a Greece is a case study. is a big experiment of the system. Yeah. that uh, failed, and now we are facing the reality of the failure. And the very dark times in which we are are perfectly represented by the fact that the whole film is shot in, in, in night scenes, and yes. the whole film is in the darkness. And uh, um, I would like to see if there are any questions from the audience. Um, I would like to ask one last thing um, concerning the film. Um, 
As we've seen from your previous works also, um, you've been changing style, as you said correctly before, you've been tailoring the style uh, around the, the topic, around the, the, um, the cause also that the film has. Um, are you currently already thinking about a new project? Have you already written or developed something? Can you share or kind of give a small preview of what is happening? Because after <coughs> it's such a strong film, there might be expectations or there might be uh, just people waiting for, so what's his next move? Can you actually keep on the same track or go somewhere else? We, we will both answer to that. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a dilemma mm -hmm. because I had two, actually, scripts ready. Okay. Um, but um, I'm sure that uh, I will uh, choose one of them. Uh, the, the title is Guest. And it's on um, uh, based on a woman's tragedy. Uh, that is, she comes from another country across the borders, mm -hmm. and uh, when they found her, uh, uh, she's uh, alone, talking about uh, the loss of her of her child, mm -hmm. and everybody searching through her insomnia um, mm -hmm. to find the child and herself also. Mm -hmm. So it's um, uh, it's uh, the good old Mazomenos, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's say based on a personal, but not so much personal yeah. story. Yeah. Uh, let's say that this woman might be more than a woman. Mm -hmm. oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> um, well, actually, um, we almost had an argument with uh, what we do. <laughs> it's created <laughs> with uh, Vasilis because. Um, I'm sure that uh, Lines is a very strong movie and um, talking directly about uh, the issue. Mm -hmm. um, as we both believe, um, art is not just talking about the issue directly. Yeah. could talk about everything and it doesn't matter. Lines had made a lot of adoptions to have the form they have today and be mm -hmm. specific, clear, mm -hmm. and in a very good artistic way, cinematic mm -hmm. way. So um, the project that described that Vasilis descri described previously is the one that I would like to mm. produce too. And uh, I think would be a very good film in the future since it's right. already finished. We'll talk about something that would, will happen in the future wow. because we have about one or two years to finish it, okay. I guess. <laughs> so it's gonna be something like a, not a prophecy. We don't want that. It will talk again about something that will happen mm -hmm. in Europe and the world. Because I don't want actually to be optimistic and I want to add something in your previous uh, yeah. conversation in Vasily's answer about Greece and um, the reaction of uh, Greeks about the film. We, art is not answering, art is not warning, mm -hmm. art is doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Art is actually trying to involve um, audience, people generally, yeah. in the issues, in nowadays, in the matters. And uh, to take a look to history, for example, and check out, is there something wrong? Don't, don't we have, haven't we faced such problems previously? <coughs> so the, uh, the script that Vasily described could be the Europe of the future right. concerning the loss of our inner self after having such a long period of conflict about policy, social issues, social matters. Sometimes, sometimes people are so exhausted yeah. when they are, have a conflict for a long time about great uh, issues and they turn into themselves. So if the end of the story of this film could be a hope, yeah. we will see that in a few years when we will shoot it, uh, could be the answer of the next years. Or if it's not a good ending, uh, that would mean that this conflict that Lines describes would have a, a bad ending. 
Yeah. And as concerns the Greek audience and generally the, the audience and everybody who's going to see the film, mm -hmm. we don't actually care about the reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are very happy, I, I would like to say that, that we had funding from yeah. GFC and the national broadcasting broadcaster, but um, we don't. It's not a matter. It's not our problem how the the uh, social uh, structures and yeah. politicians or the uh, audience will react. We don't care about that. It was we, an urgency that you. We had hope to they, well, they will just uh, talk about it. Yeah. Continuously, they would. They will argue. Yeah. No, nobody can actually show the problem, and better than the whole society. Yeah. and understand the problem. Has but you deserve the, the right to have your film put out there and then they can course, decide, they can yes. argue, but they can judge it's, it, but, yes, but, but it has to be there. The journey in Europe that yeah. the film will have is a better chance for us and for Greeks to understand that this is not their problem. Yeah. It's a European problem. And they Absolutely. have to, to look at this problem early, right now. Mm -hmm. And, and that is actually why I'm, I'm so happy that we had the chance to have the world premiere here at the festival and it's a big international premiere, uh, everybody's watching, and uh, we had many questions also during the, yeah. the first screening of, uh, of the film. Uh, the audience really stayed in the, in the hall and was interested to hear your thoughts and uh, discuss about the film because evidently it's something that touches the people and something that concerns the people. Um, and we're in Estonia, so very far from mm -hmm. Greece, apparently different culture, different, but as the title of the movie says, we're all linked exactly. together somehow. Exactly. Even, even from Estonian Greece and international audience, the members that were at the screening. So uh, this tells a lot about the topic that you touched. So once again, I would really like to um, thank you for being here and for giving us uh, you. your film and we thank the you. opportunity to put it out there. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.